What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Lord Femmer. In today's video I want to go over the Electro Dragons. With that new level 5 this troop has gotten even stronger at Town Hall 14 uh, to the point now where it could just triple max out bases. Um, this troop overall is just strong where you can get high percentage 2 stars in war if that's what you're going for um, or even triples. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. If you guys like the video go ahead and leave me a like. You know, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you're not following me on Twitch to catch me live, it's twitch.tv slash lordfemmer. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, I got three replays for you to show you today on three different bases. Uh, a couple of them are in multiplayer, so you know there's no CCs and stuff, and a couple defenses were down, but this, this attack overall would have been tripling. Um, so this is the main comp, 10 loons, one baby dragon for funneling, your eight electro dragons for the main army, and your heroes. Go right into spells, we got two zap spells when, when needed, you know, in war you don't have to use these if you don't need them. Um, multiplayer and legends I'd suggest bringing them, just to get rid of that sweeper. Uh, sweepers can really slow down your electro dragons, so you don't want that. Uh, four total rages, um, three total free spells, and a poison for the CC. Or heroes if you don't have to deal with the CC. So uh, the blimp is just five loons and dragons just to get through that town hall when needed. So let's get right into the first replay. As you can see, it only took a minute and 45 seconds to wipe out this base. Um, so this attack is just strong overall. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing we do is just zap out that sweeper so we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, we're going to start the heroes, mainly just for pathing. So we're going to get these heroes going down on the 6 o'clock. And at 3 o'clock, we're going to get the baby dragon and loot going. King with the yak. The yak's going to help the king step up into this. Once this e-dragon, once we get past that barracks, we're going to step up in here. We're going to grab the enemy queen, which is huge. And we're going to fight the enemy king. Bring the main army in the middle. Drop all the loons, E-Dragons, Blimp, Warden, Warden the Blimp, get the Blimp to the Town Hall with a Rage, and the Dragons just walk through and destroy everything behind it. That uh, Blimp is my favorite Blimp. The loons and the Dragon are my favorite. It's just the most versatile. If you don't need a Blimp, you can always switch to a Stone Slammer. Then the Stone Slammer can help funnel, funnel any troop, any air uh, attack you're using. So at this point, I bring the Royal Champion in at 12. I haven't even deployed her, and most most of the uh, defenses are already destroyed. So I got a free spell for her once we get to this uh, Infernal, Inferno uh, Tower to keep her alive. But at this point, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the eight original Electro Dragons we put on the field. So this base is just absolutely crushed. I mean, we hardly even lost. We hardly even lost uh, Electro Dragons. So yeah, that's a look at the comp real quick. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you're at a lower town hall, you'd you'd more than likely just take a an Electro Dragon out um, if you don't have the army camp space, um, and then possibly. Some loons if you need to go down a little further, like 40, 40 less troop space. Um, take out two loons and one electro dragon. Um, if you take out an electro dragon, you can just add in a baby dragon if you got that 10, 10 extra space. So that's the first attack. We'll go over another base. So this is more of the box base. So first thing we do is zap out that air sweeper. Um, on where it's, where it's pointing towards where we're going to come from. So I start down 6 o'clock with my Sui. King and Queen. Start at 3 o'clock with my Baby Dragon and even an Electro Dragon to help keep that funnel going even better. King ability through just to get through this Air Sweeper. Or uh, Air Defense, I'm sorry. Queen steps up, starts taking out the Tesla Farm. Drop all the loons. Electro Dragon's right behind it. And blimp. 
So this one's a little weird because the town hall wasn't activated um, because it's being upgraded. So that was the only thing being upgraded on here uh, besides an air defense. So my loons actually don't destroy this right away because it doesn't activate because it's being upgraded. So if you're a multiplayer, that's something to think about. Um, but at that point, I still had so many electric dragons. I still got five in the core. So the good thing is too, um, there's not going to be a poison or an explosion when it's upgraded. So you don't have to worry about that if your electric dragons go through there. So to start the Royal Champion at nine o'clock, have her just help keep funneling everything and go through the rest of the defenses. I believe I, yeah, I lost all. So this one's a little different. It shows you, you know, even if you lose these Electro Dragons, your heroes can get through the rest of the base. You know, even if you're at Town Hall 11, that King and the Queen, if they're alive, they're gonna walk through the rest of the base. But once you're 13, 14, you got that Royal Champion. Her coming in at the back. I mean, I used the ability just to wipe out the rest of the three. There was only three defenses left at that point, so. Use her ability, clean it up, and then the heroes just do the rest. I even swagged a freeze here, so. And that is it. Another triple. And I have one war attack I want to show that showcases when you don't need to bring zaps from my man Michael, the beast himself. So this is a, a base that you see a lot in Wars and uh, Legends League. It's just one of those uh, odd bases that um, is really sh tries to be anti-air and anti-ground at the same time. Um, this guy made the mistake of pointing both sweepers in the same directions, as you can see. One's pointed this way, and one is pointed this way. So, they're both pointed the same way. So, there's no need to bring zaps at this point. So, we just bring a couple more freezes, um, which just helps us keep defenses frozen to get our troops really going. As you can see, I mean, this replay isn't very long, so he absolutely destroys this base, too. So, we start on the E-Dragon funnel on the one side. We're gonna go another E Dragon, King and Queen at six. All the loons and E Dragons coming in right in the middle. Ward to keep them boosted up. Blimp coming down. Couple rages to get everybody going. Ward ability to get the blimp to the town hall. And then we're gonna rage on the town hall with the blimp also just to get that down quickly. Tomo goes down quickly. RC coming in with the King and the Queen on the right side. Just extra support. RC is fighting the enemy RC to get her down. And three Ice Molds. A lot of the E-Dragons end up going down just because of all how strong the defenses are and the core of the base. So we got one E-Dragon left at this point, but we have all four heroes the king or the queen ability, the RC ability, and an extra freeze. So there's no way we're not finishing this. So at this point, all that's left is a single inferno that's going to do anything to us. Uh, the king was taken, tanking that entire time while we fight the skeleton trap. We do end up finding the tornado trap. That's okay. We pop the RC ability so nobody takes damage during it. Last electro dragon finally falls. At this point, the RC with that freeze is just going to walk through the rest of these rest of these defenses end up end up not getting through the single inferno but it, it really doesn't matter at this point the queen is gonna the queen has her ability to stay alive and the wards once we get through this uh, research lab that's just sitting over here the warden will up sniping off that uh, infernal tower force he's gonna help the queen get through this wall real quick then they're going to both step up and all the archers and everything that's just easy clean up. So that, that just goes to show you the, the electric dragons, they're going to get through this base. They're going to destroy most of the defenses. And at that point, your heroes, it's just going to clean up the rest. So even if we're not, even if our heroes aren't cleaning up at that point, we had an 80% two star and it's really hard not to two star with this army. So if you're just going in war and you just need an attack to get for sure two stars, this, this is it. This is the attack. So, 
that's all I got for you guys today. Appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video as always. Um, we'll catch you next time.